Howdy, welcome to BanjoBandClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the site to teach you how to play banjo. Manlin, this week is Guitar Week. We're finishing up a duet lesson with Manlin for Just As I Am. And not only is it du a duet lesson, it's also a hymn study series. So this is a new series I started on the site. It's where I take uh, old classic hymns that you request for me. This one's probably been requested the most, by the way. And we look at the history of the song, uh, which we get to at the end of the lesson. Uh, we look at the meaning of the lyrics. So a little bit of a devotion. We look at real world playing. We look at uh, assessing the song. So taking um, the sheet music that you might find in a hymnal and figuring out how to play that on bluegrass instruments. That's quite helpful. That's what we'll do first. Um, so if you're watching somewhere besides the website, here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, become a Gold Peak member, have access to thousands, not thousands, of, well, maybe by the time you're watching this, but definitely hundreds. If you're watching here on the site, you have everything you need. Don't forget to download the MP3s to practice along with. Let's get rolling. I'll be honest with you, there's a whole lot to learn in this one. So if you're up for a challenge, here we go. And not only is it good for this duet, I'm going to teach you a lot of stuff that's good for all kinds of application. Uh, and we're going to talk about hybrid picking. That's where we use our fingers along with our flat pick. And we're doing it in drop D. Uh, so that's where you take your lowest string, your E string. It's normally right there. And drop it down the whole step. So that it matches fourth string, hopefully. I'm in this cold cabin. It's very difficult to keep anything in tune, as you may have heard. So there's really three parts to what we're going to learn today. Uh, one is this fancy intro that has some alternate chords in it. Let's learn that first. Uh, then there's the rhythm for what the mandolin plays. We'll learn that second. And then there's the guitar actual solo uh, that we'll learn last okay so let's let's take a look here and measure one uh, we're doing a very touchy feely uh, version of just as I am and what we're going to do is just kind of kick it off we're not going to play the whole song at first we're going to play like the last little bit just as I am I come okay so but we're going to add some chords in there that aren't in the hymnal um, and we're going to use our finger as well. And there are some workarounds for some of these little licks that I want to show you because some of them are kind of hard, but we're going to walk into it. And I like to play that second fret with my ring finger so that as I strum that first note in measure two, I can get that slide in there. I didn't put that in the tab, but I like to do that. Now, whenever you're doing these brushes, uh, you want to, of course, not strum through the notes that I have there. And you want that melody note to be the accent, so you don't want to make these bass notes too loud or you won't hear what the melody note is. So we're in a little deep position there. Pretty handy, isn't it? Now the trick to these little arrangements, I think, is to always have something ringing. Okay, to always try to keep a note ringing. So even right here, I'm going to reach down and grab the fifth fret with my ring finger, and I'm not picking up my middle finger because I want, I want that note to ring out. Oh, sorry. And then you can lift it right at the last second. Now measure five, I'm going to grab that C sharp with my pinky on the sixth fret. Just because I like these two notes ringing out, that's a big stretch especially without muting any notes. So you can, of course, go back down to that second fret and grab that note instead. So four and five could look like this. But I like this one. Ah. F sharp minor, I'm muting the A string with my ring finger. I'm playing those three strings. That measure. And again, you can take this as slow as you want, and because it's up to you. You're not playing along with a band. Next line, B minor, seven. It's our melody note. It's important, I think, to leave that ring finger down, and I'm going to slide it down for the E minor. And when you do it all uh, connected, it sounds really pretty. You hear that slide? 
bring in my middle finger to pick some of the strings in measure A. And then we get into this little interlude, which is um, has some rhythm licks in it that I'm going to use during the mandolin solo, and I'll just go ahead and show those to you. That's what that sounds like. Now, as far as the pick strokes go, I'm not going to be super, super uh, strict with those. I tend to use an upstroke whenever I'm bringing my pick back up toward the lower strings. In this instance, I'm not doing true alternate picking. So just keep that in mind. Um, so here's what I, what I want to do next. I want to play through this whole intro slowly. Maybe you can play along with me. Um, and then we'll dive into the rhythm part of it as the mandolin's taking it solo. Then we'll get into the guitar solo as well. If you're playing somewhere or watching somewhere and playing, uh, besides the site, I invite you to come over to banjobenclark.com. Check it out. Thank you. 